Hello everybody, this is Thena from Eminent. Uh, pretty soon it will have been three months since I originally released the Eminent DKP mod for the world to enjoy. And uh, so far I'm, I've been really surprised and really pleased with how many guilds have picked it up and start u started using it and are telling me that they're, uh, they're really enjoying it. So to celebrate, I'm making this little uh, what's new video to kind of highlight uh, everything that has changed with the mod since the first video I released in August. I'm um, just going to kind of go through the new features that I've added and kind of demonstrate how they work in a raid environment. Uh, although the first few things I'm going to demonstrate are uh, not dependent on being in a raid, so I decided to demonstrate them while sitting by a peaceful brook in uh, Ellen Forest. Okay, so uh, one of the first things that uh, I added, and this is a, a big one because a lot of people were asking for it, is the ability to generate a list of the current standings. Um, in the original version of the mod, you could only check either your own balance or the balance of one other person. You couldn't get the balance of everybody. So there are actually two different rankings that you can check. The first and most commonly used is just the current standings. And to generate that list, you'll send the command dollar sign standings. Now, you can send this command to the to an officer, a master looter, or if you have the mod installed on your own computer, even if you're not an officer, you can send it to yourself. So the way that works is uh, just send the whisper dollar sign standings and you'll get a list like this one. This is uh, every single person in the database ranked by their current DKP and you can also see how much DKP they have. The uh, other version of this is dollar sign lifetime, which is the same idea, except instead of showing their current DKP, it shows their total lifetime earned DKP. And again, it's, it's ordered by the highest to the lowest. So that's a new feature. And um, like I said, a lot of people were asking for that, especially the ability to uh, run the query by yourself, like without whispering an officer without uh, during a raid. If you send that command during a raid, it'll just print out the standings to raid chat so that everybody can see it. Although in that case, it only prints the standings for the people who are in the current raid. But enough about that. Another uh, improvement that has been made to the mod since the original version. You may remember in the first video, uh, there was a lot of spam on my screen, like you know, player XYZ has been removed from the database or you know, player ABC has been added to the database. Those notifications have been totally removed because it was just a lot of spam and it wasn't really telling me anything of value. People are still being added the way, or added and removed the way they were before. It's just there's no announcement. Uh, although on that same note, one of the reasons there was so much spam is because the mod was collecting so much data about so many people. Uh, when I would go into a battlegrounds, it would it would gather data on everybody in there, even people from other servers who I'll never raid with. Uh, now the mod will only collect data on people who are in the raid when master looting is enabled. So you know, if you go into Winter Grasp or Alderac Valley or whatever, you're not going to be collecting 40 new names and putting them in your database and just having them sit there until they're purged. Uh, now the database will be much smaller, which should make uh, you know, query times much faster. Not that it was taking a long time before. I mean, a fraction of a second wasn't really that big of a wait time, but uh, now it'll be even faster. OK, and this next part here, this is another huge one. Um, there's now multi-mod support. What I mean by that is if several people in the same guild are running the mod, the different versions of the mod will talk to each other, and uh, that gives us several benefits. For one thing, we can share data. So everybody in the guild who has the mod running will have a copy of the database saved on their computer. Uh, not only does that allow them to run the standings and lifetime uh, commands, but uh, it also ensures data integrity. Like, if I was the only person in Eminent who had Eminent DKP running, and my computer crashed, my hard drive failed or whatever, and I lost the data, that would be a real problem, except for the fact that there are 10 or 12 other people in the guild who have it running. So all I would have to do is the very next time I logged on, 
my mod would talk to those mods and it would immediately get a fresh copy of the data and nothing would be lost. So just a little bit of data security. You can never have too many backups. So uh, that's, that's really nice. Um, another nice thing about the mods talking to each other. Uh-oh. This looks like trouble. A hoarder invading. Prancing around in their wolves. Anyways, uh, mods talking to each other gives us the ability to do version checks. So whenever I release a new version of the mod, as soon as one person in a guild installs it, everybody else in the guild will be notified just with a little message on the bottom of their screen that says, hey, there's a new version of Eminent TKP available for download. All right, so there's a couple other things that I want to show you, but those will be uh, in a raid. So another feature that is new to the mod is uh, kind of just a, a time saver. Uh, in the earlier versions of the mod, whenever uh, an auction ended that nobody bid on, the gear was just looted directly to the master looter, to me. I am not a disenchanter, so I'd have to go and find a disenchanter in the guild and um, you know, trade the gear with them, sorting through my bags, opening a trade window, moving more one at a time. It was a real, real hassle. So uh, I added the command dollar sign disenchant, which allows the master looter to assign a disenchanter. And the way that works is um, disenchant, and then the name of the person who's going to be a disenchanter. In this case, it's Kale, who's one of the other officers in Eminent. And when I click enter, uh, the mod whispers Kale and says, hey, Thana's made you the, uh, the disenchanter. Make sure you have backspace available. And then whenever an auction ends, uh, if no one has bid on the loot, it'll just be looted directly to Kale. So another function that has been added to the program since uh, the very first version is what I call the vanity routine. The idea behind this function is that it will instantly uh, roll a random number for every person in the raid that is weighted based on their lifetime earned DKP. The idea is that you can uh, figure out who wins a vanity mount like Invincible uh, in one second. Okay, for example, here is a uh, vanity mount, Invincible's Reigns. And uh, we want these mounts to go to people who have been in the guild for a long time, but we don't want to just give it to, you know, whoever's at the top. So I whisper myself, uh, dollar sign vanity. And you can see a list is generated. This is everybody in the raid uh, with a random number that is weighted based on our lifetime DKP. So Gatel Kane wins this one. Congratulations to him. So there's another new command that I should have mentioned while I was looting Invincible's reins to Gatel Kane. That moment has passed, but I will mention it now. The command is dollar sign reset, and X stands for the, the name of a player. This command will reset the lifetime earned DKP of whatever player you specify. The idea is that once you've won a vanity mount, we don't want you winning the very next one. We want it to be uh, a while before you can win another one and give other people a chance to win it. So dollar sign vanity, dollar sign reset, those are for um, vanity mounts. Now, a couple closing remarks here. I changed the way the auction routine works. In the other video, uh, you may have noticed that I sent myself the command dollar sign auction every time a, I needed to start an auction for a new piece of gear. Now, once you push dollar sign auction, uh, the auction routine will keep running until all of the loot on the boss has been uh, distributed, all the DKP has been uh, spent and awarded, and every point is accounted for. So, in the other video when I said that I could be in the kitchen making a sandwich, that wasn't entirely true, because I would have had to come back to the computer every 30 seconds to start the next auction. Now it is true. I can literally push the auction button, 
and leave the computer for several minutes while the loot takes care of itself. And then uh, when I come back, I can, I can go on and continue with the raid. One final note. Don't ever let anybody tell you that progression guilds don't use DKP. We have been using DKP since Molten Core. We've also killed Heroic Lich King pre-patch 4.0. That's uh, between that and the Heroic Hellion kill, that puts us in world top 1%. So if somebody says to you, oh man, we can't use DKP because we want to be progression guild, tell them that they have no idea what they're talking about, and uh, you, you can tell them that I said that. If they have any... Uh, if they have any problems, tell them to come talk to me. But thank you again for considering using Eminent TKP. Uh, if you do decide to use it, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any ideas for ways to improve the software, I am uh, more than enthusiastic about hearing those. Uh, you can get in touch with me via our website, eminent.guildomatic.com. See you in, uh, in Cataclysm.